Hi there, I'm John, aka Graffiti, and I'm a 3D environment artist in the games industry. This video series shows my approach to environment art creation with the ArtStation Challenge brief Beyond Human. Each video is a live stream capture and doesn't contain any music. I suggest putting some on, increasing the speed of the videos and playing them in the background while doing some of your own work. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see me create environment art live, please tune into my Twitch channel. You can also follow me on social media. Enjoy! Cool. And then this needs pipes on as well. Hello, Graffiti. Hello, Sasho. How are you doing? Um, so let's get a regular job. Money's getting low. Yeah, I'm not in the art session because of those art tests. Yeah, the art tests take tons of time. Streaming, so I guess that helps just for now. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, don't get too bogged down in streaming, I would say. Um, if you want time off to just you know, do your own work, then, then do it. Don't feel like you have to stream for the sake of streaming. If you can work, you know, uh, in your own time and you have no issues with that, then yeah, just forget about streaming, just concentrate on the work. But, um, or I mean, just be involved, like if you're on Dynasty's um, Discord, then people are gonna know who you are already, so that's always great. And then just getting stuff on Polycount as and when. Um, that's fine, I should probably finish up uh, my mask shader and get on going around in summary. Yeah, because even if you just release stuff for, for free, people um, will you know, get it and try it out. I'm willing to read it anywhere in the Western world. I know a lot of people and students and such pay for small things like shades of masks for in some sense we don't all brushes and stuff, but got a good idea for a brush and also make outfits out of those I'm going to tell you guys what though <laughs> checked and what I want to make doesn't exist yet oh someone's cornering the market um do it uh I I can't remember his name, but there's a guy who released a pack for, you know, 200 odd alpha masks and then showed you how to do it as well. And I think even if you can do a small pack and then just get the word out and then just keep going from there. Um, yeah. Might be uh, something to just get, get you off the ground. And also shows that you're proactive as well. You're thinking about stuff and how, how stuff can be used. Which is great. No, oh, they're not individual cubes. Um, it's getting a bit crowded down this orthographic side. Detailing the distance, save. Uh, not really in the regulars, whenever I post something, I barely get any crits there. Literally, no crits on my Stonegate piece posting. Finished work feels bad. Literally, no crits. Uh, 
double post. Which one you want to use? Adjust everything from base. Sounds amazing. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, stuff uh, Sasho was saying, stuff like that. He or she posts in um, in dynasties, but it didn't get a sniff. Um, and I think that's the problem. Sometimes the conversation moves so fast. But what about Polycount? Did you did you throw it on there? Um, Uh, yeah, right, so pipage in a small copy and paste. That's what we want. So this building actually might be a bit further back because in the image, and I've got a camera open as well, the Transo Shack. Now this is gonna be a problem. So it's actually gonna be something like that, but I think it's too far away, far too far away. So we'll leave it and just adjust it later, depending on the lighting. because the angle of view is quite strong. Uh, right, so this one is the one that's closest to the wall. This goes around the block, so get rid of this. shorter something like that and then there's one that just wraps around the building which you could probably just make out of this paste Haven't got anywhere. I'm trying to know all about tonight. The new guys tried to get for it, and also comes with non mask version. So, yeah, does it? It's cool for it. <laughs> yeah, and um, Muffin, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, um, I suppose the ideal would be 
because I know Dynasty's wanted, having a vote at the moment that's the best way they're doing their crits but I think that's in the stream um, what might be a good idea is um, a channel so one of the ideas was a bot opens a channel for crits in the stream which would be and closes it again after the stream which I think is a good idea but maybe having a critiques channel devoted to critiques so you post stuff up um, and you just you do crit um, and maybe there's a you use a, a certain hashtag or maybe you hashtag the date um, I don't know I, d I don't know how to use this score that much but um, that would work a bit better I think if you had a dedicated because I think at the moment they just get posted in art related and that gets you know that's quite a strong current in there it's constantly updating um, whereas if you had an actual crit channel then you might get more feedback quicker um, and also if in that way if someone's posted something already crit like don't be afraid to give somebody else feedback and then they're more likely to give you feedback when you post your stuff so so maybe so maybe down that line i don't know which that one there is just not as good as the good motion. Yeah. Um, I know uh, Sasha would be in here still. Excuse me. Um, how was Helio's crit for your work? Was it good? Have you done anything with it since then, since last week? Um, it would be good to see what you worked on. Action! Hello, Action. How you doing? But not all the time. I work a lot on my own. So, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it's fair enough. Um, action. What brings you here? Uh, okay, I might move on to the other side of the street. Who oh, aren't that good? Don't give him critiques. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Start attacking in all directions. <laughs> That's the best feedback. You can't see it as a, as a negative thing. That's a good thing. Really good thing. Oh, this was in major. This was in the um, in Thursday stream. Um, Helio, the guy who did the concept that I'm working on, was in the stream. Uh, oh, so not in the stream, in the chat. And uh, Sasha wanted some crit on what they were working on uh, so they um, so I think they uh, they did it through a whisper and um, yeah Helio is obviously really good um, and Sasha is learning but yeah so exactly yeah it's a good thing to ask about stuff yeah definitely so if you if you can ask someone like who's super talented um, they've been through what you're going through, so they're, they're going to know. Um, uh, what's it? I'm coming from Art Station. I wish more stream when it's only character artists who stream. Oh, I don't know who else is um, on, actually. I didn't actually check. Because um, that's what is it good to know. Because I... Uh, uh, I think it, the last challenge I did, it would have been good to stream that, but uh, I need to do this one. Twitch streams. Ah, oh, just me. Ah, oh, quite happy with that, if I'm, if I'm honest. <laughs> um... Uh, try this awesome for project. Yeah, I'm trying to get to use get used to using it now because um, I know Clinton Crumple uses it, and that's where I got the idea. F well, basically, he said that's what he uses, and I basically thought, oh, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, so I need to look into that a bit more. Right, so there's an air duct 
just on the other side of this sign. So if I can grab that. So that sign is here, is that right? Somewhere right here, yep. Yep, and it's going the wrong way, so it needs to go this way. Ooh, someone just followed me, or did something. Action, thank you for the follow. Um, this is a terrible song, whatever it is. Um, yeah, uh, action, I normally stream Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 GMT to 11 GMT. Um, last week I accidentally did six hours. That was a one-off. Um, but this week I'm only doing Tuesday, today and tomorrow because I'm away on Thursday evening. Um, oh, thanks for the um, auto host, Major Muffin. Yay! Um, yeah, really appreciate that. Sorry, the chat's over there. That's why I'm looking over there. Um, so it can be used to show up there. Yeah, I think the art station has to tag is in. So that's actually quite good. Uh, I feel like this is going to upset this, but actually, let's just get rid of that. Uh, yeah, maybe something like that. And I need to change this music. Something like that, maybe. Added it, yes, appreciate it. Um, see, see, uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, but I seem really like he only replays once every two that I got the idea from a friend of mine who also streams. Forget about that. In fact, she thought, taught me everything I know about licensing. Mm. We both do Archfish stuff. Who's that? Angel of Death. Who's, um... Oh, thanks as well, Angel of Death, for the auto-host. Really appreciate it. Um... Who's your friend? I mean, just because... I mean, hopefully, if they don't mind, I'd like to pest them about Latin as well. Or even pester you, that would be better. Um, because my Latin isn't as up to scratch as it should be, really. And that's kind of another reason why I'm doing this piece. Um, do you put hashtags in the title? Yes, of the stream I do. Um, I think I do hashtag, what do I do? Hashtag 3D, hashtag creative, hashtag art station, hashtag modo, substance, UE4, and the uh, challenge hashtag I do as well. Um, she's streaming that. She's, yeah. Oh, wait. Um, I can post that to her. Yeah, I mean, if you would. Unless it's, is it Unidev? Because I do know her, briefly. Um, but yeah, if you, if you could forward my details on, then that would be, that would be great. Um, uh, do you put or in the sessions you put it in the title of the stream and also I put it in the um, art station in the community as well um, she doesn't uh, no she doesn't use it okay cool Alessa Baker let's have a look Cool. I will. A face rings a bell. Um... Yes, that's how I'm... I've seen that um, shell in system. Yeah, I've seen that shell in system. I think there was a. Um... 
a what you call uh, what you call it a um, uh, an eighty level article about her. That's how I recognise her. Um, but yeah, if you could do an introduction for me, um, I would really appreciate that because I think I need to ask a lot of people about light and stuff. Right. So this passes. Ooh. Maybe it does go in. So this is under the big one, but in front of this one, so maybe it's about there. it doesn't look quite right yet. Apart from this, I won't move. Um, and also, Sasha, if you're still there, um, don't be expecting replies um, as soon as you send them or within the day because remember these people have lives too it's like for me I tend to leave messages until I can answer them properly um, otherwise if I read it and then do something else I'll forget that I read it um, so yeah don't like don't be um, like I'll be on their list of things to get back to you with but um yeah, um, I like give give people time to to look at your stuff. Um, the feedback will come, just not straight away. Okay, I'm gonna go something like that. One's longest building goes into a corner. Let's say opposite, just on the other side of the door. Oh, which would be here. Interesting, don't know what that is. World's tallest building, doesn't need to be that tall right now. And this comes out halfway through the sign or something like that. now let's make mech Netherlands English art station 3d put spaces uh, muffin between your hashtags um, I mean I don't know if that helps but that's what I do and I seem to come up so make sure you put spaces between everything um, so mine I'll just bring it in the chat is is like that so it's quite long but I give each stream a number and um, 
a description of what I'm trying to do in that screen and then all the hashtags with spaces. It's got she shows around on there most of the time. Okay, what is the shine system? Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah, it's more for design stuff. Bonus of blocking is that you can run around level. Yeah. Does your four have an engine boolean like that? I think it does. Uh, I'm kind of not really. I thought it might. You can do it with additive. Yeah, that's it. Use brushes, additive, subtractive. If you read the UE4 doc documentation, it does talk about that. But yeah, I think AOD is right in that. Um, it's a system, but it could probably be a better system. But they have a system in, so they can say they've got a system. Cool. Get my image back up. All of the pipes happening. This is going to be a pain. God damn you, Helio, and your damn pipes. And it does come out, I think, a bit further this way. It's more in line with the building edge, I think. Well, if it is that, then my perspective's way out. We'll offset it. Maybe something like that. Yeah. Need some happy times. I'm going to unravel the body and texture it. Maybe it was Tetris. Just uh, use Modo unwrap. <laughs> it's really good. That's a good idea. Uh, right. Pipes. Where are these all going into? So they're probably fine like that. Lots of thin ones. There's a dumpster over there as well, so we'll grab that. It looks like there's more paper on this side of the wall.
but it does look like the air con is a bit shorter. So maybe something like that. The day creative part might just turn off. Oh. And I'm trying to sleep, yeah. Well, thanks for coming by, um, Angel. And um, like I said, I'll be on tomorrow if you're about. Um, no worries if not. Um, yeah, so if you're about feel free to stop by otherwise thanks for the auto host um, and I'll be back on it next week does need to go on in there then I might need to make the area a bit longer although a car should fit there right pipage and I need one of these Don't get to yet, Joe's game. Just gonna go into chill mode. Try a gigantic. No, not yet. Um, I need to. Once this challenge is done, I'll be playing a lot more games. But right now, I do need to switch off a bit. But I also need to do a lot of work. straight down and the other
this one's a bit thicker. So much monsters. Oh, I host him, I think. Auto host him. I have a lot of saves, but it's usually. <laughs> I have a lot of circular shapes. Auto sh Is that in Max, the auto shaping thing? you out with max stuff because I've I've never used it but in Modo it might you could atlas everything and just in like a very very first rough pass of it um, or you just select a shape and press unwrap and it just goes whoop, which is quite handy Pipe that goes, which is like this one. So it hits that. So actually, it needs to be mirrored this way as well. Where am I going? It hits this, goes under it, and then goes down. So maybe out a bit. Three 
reasonably close because there is a reflection on it. Cool. And it goes right underneath it. Something like that, maybe. And then along. And there's basically just crap everywhere. Excellent. Oh, I'm about to think it's a lot. <laughs> Port Meadow in day through a steam summer sale. Um, stuck with my head out yet. That's interesting that you, well, I mean, each their own. How long have you been using um, uh, uh, 3ds Max for action? Right, now this thing. So the corner piece. Right, I might try and just finish this building off. What I've got. Uh, yeah, I'll finish this corner. Scatter the debris, and then I think I might leave it for the evening. Um, if anything, I think the gap between the buildings needs to be a bit smaller. Um, Or at least get a block out for the car and that stack of crap. Um, and then, yeah, tomorrow I can hopefully finish the thing off. Um, and also, I think that this building could probably come forward a bit more. It is in line. Mm, actually, it's probably just a little bit like that. That goes above it, but we'll deal with that later. Right, so these elements, so we need to cut an area out. And this needs to be just higher than the pipe. And. Probably like that. in not out so right save this and then we need to make a column so these look like they've got
Uh, your submission link? I must be blind. You just posted it when I asked. It says, um, mine in case you want. Oh, cool. Is that mine? Yeah, must have been. Oh, I didn't know that the, the, the stream comes up on the thread. Oh, I like that. There's my face in all its glory. Um, yeah, so actually, if you've got any feedback, um, just shove it on. I'll do a... Um, after I've watched Call It, I've wrap this session off I'll um I'll um what's called it I'll post an update and then if you've got any feedback or whatever that you haven't put in here just put comment on that um yeah because then I'll definitely see it stream until you post. What a great idea, Major. What a great idea. And this column is far too big already. on There's a fuse box there, but there is a, I can so it comes down and then we have another one of these. And I think that just extends all the way to the floor. There's just a inner extruded bit on these. Where is it? something like that. I think 
think some things are a little off still. That's longer. of the bevel. And there's quite a gap. And then there's one on the end. is more like this. There's a fuse box in that one. And this one has basically got one of these. Sorry, talking to myself a lot, but. Solam, yes! Did you get a license on Steam? I got a license. These are my Steam softwares I have. I didn't realise they did Steam versions of stuff until uh, someone at work told me. Because I would have loved to have got Marvelous Designer. Because I plan on using something like that. Well, Marvelous Designer or Dynamics in Modo to do the um, bin bags. expensive for it and a one by thing. So I come with Modo and Mario, no idea what about Mario the best thing is they're commercial on Steam. Yeah that is a fucking great thing. Um yeah I've only opened Mari once and I'm sure it is very powerful but at the time I was like I haven't got time to learn this. And also I was getting on board with substance at that time so um, that kind of took precedence um, 
then on this bit I need something like this. Steam and then the nice. Usually it's thirty percent off in the summer so on, meaning it goes for three hundred to two hundred. Just quick so Yeah, that'd be pretty good because I haven't really got a lot of spare cash at the moment.
the other way. This, this one. Uh, what's this? Who has right now? I have so I can afford. No, has because I live at home. Twenty one here. Oh man. So no. So I could use for my Mac at the joints. I think that could work. How many hours have you been streaming now? Three. Uh. Yeah, just over three hours. Um, oh, 21. What a, what a time. <laughs> oh, gone are those days for me. But, you know, time, time continues. Life goes on. Uh, cool, okay, so, right, so to finish that off, I'm just going to put in this car or something like it, and back in my day, yeah, <laughs> you're not that old, how do you, Angel, you know, 22? Do this car and then my clear night. Quite happy with that progress actually. I think I do need to make the alley tighter. Just say it. 28. <laughs> Barely a difference, at least. <laughs> Maybe the body. <laughs> Well, this one's 31. <laughs> Tell you what, turning 30 wasn't so bad, but 31 was like, kick to the nuts. It was just like, didn't want it. Didn't want it at all. Haven't got any time for it, being 31.
to next weekend. He lives in Manchester as well. Oh, very nice. No excuses. <laughs> well, my back after last week's stream was a nightmare. Um, still hurt a bit tonight and doing the boot camp at work didn't really help it.
Bugs on the back. <laughs> Forgot to ask you in the last room. Can Modo import dog files? Don't know. Import. Um. Doesn't look like it. I don't even know what kind of file that is. Various CAD programs, Ooh, don't know. Could you not get an OBJ out of those programs? Not bad first pass for this uh, this what you call it this car.
you soon. Good luck. I've been wrapping teeth in what feels like hours. So tedious. Well, Mewson, it has been hours. It's been three hours. <laughs> Uh, if I had need for something like that, uh, we be fun about getting TD pump from Arch Face and you make an art pitch. Since you can go off, it's tiring for me. Never again. <laughs> Do a couple of seats and then we're done. Some wheels and we might be done.
less props and clean materials but I really say yeah without fun all the fun <laughs> I think I want to be a health service guy more than an environmental artist, but last I need a job. You could be a prop artist, um, Major. If that's more what you want to go into, then be a prop artist.
Um, what's this? Sorry. Uh, what is a prop? Is it full jump? Uh, they make props, lots of props. Sounds nice. Just a lot of three months, same character projects. Maybe tell me if I'm already by accident properly because I have a lot of solo things. Also, you can sell your models to a new guy and do. Yep, I said flips anyway. Yep. It's working if it's constructive. I would say weapons. I. What can I make though? Where the F does that come in? <laughs> it was so appreciated. Let's have a look. Yeah, you're on your way to be a prop artist because weapons, although depending on the game, fall into their own category. Props to, well, four props. What's this? You should get um, on this one. You should put some close-ups of here and of your do some texture breakdowns as well. Uh, just put them on to the end of this on, on this on the same post but just uh, so you can see the normal map and the diffuse and the roughness um, looking cool yeah so some like a nice close-ups like that yeah looks good maybe I don't know what your you know, so your texture size is 2k just bump it up to 4k Yeah, do your renders at 4K. I'll do that. And maybe also, so on here, it looks like quite a rough surface. You know, you can see the normal information on the uh, handle. Um, maybe make it smoother or have less of a normal map. Um, and also, I think the grain is, and it could be the normal map again on the wood grain, but it, it's too noisy. Uh, and if you made it like polished wood, then, um, and you could probably get some more, um, ver like broader variation in the wood. Um, Also, actually, you can see in this one, let's see if there's another one. Yeah, I would. So, this metal bit is just like placed into the mesh at the moment. But if you, on the wooden mesh, if you cut out, like use this as a Boolean and cut out around it so then it would actually sit within it, that would be pretty cool. You know, for realism points uh, I think in this one you need to break up the is it gold a bit more um, so in this big cross thing maybe it's got raised elements and it's like worn away Oh, and also, um, get rid of your facets, put more subdivisions in it. So, what's that? Eight. So, make it 24. Um, yeah, don't worry about geometry so much nowadays. Um, but with cylindrical objects, put enough subdivisions in the in the circumference um, to get away from this or just scrap this shot entirely um, this is cool maybe punch up the light in get like a, a nice you know sun coming from this angle hitting it um, again get some more, um, you can see the facets and on these bits, so just get more geometry um, in the circumference uh, but yeah, that, that looks, look, looks alright yeah, 
if anything, I would, instead of render this on grey, I would extend this so it sat on like this riveted panelling underneath and maybe there's two turrets or something like that and just kind of pose them like a bit of an action shot um, so if they're like you know rotated off um, so they're off angle and maybe looking up something like that just gives it a bit more action uh, <laughs> Uh, and then yes so this gate is from the previous scene um, cool is there a wireframe yep so right so and this one you just need to you need to dynamesh this so it's 12,000 verts it, it can't be uh, as in in a game it can't be 12,000 verts you need to seriously reduce this. So it would be things like, um, so you'd want the silhouette, but then all this crap in the middle, all this geometry that you don't need, just get rid of it. So if you use um, Decimation Master in ZBrush and then rebake your high on your low, your, um, it would work. Yeah, see Mewson got it, more action. Um, yeah, and again, do your, um, I'm doing this, but your breakdowns for your textures. Um, uh, right, sorry, let me just catch up on the chat. Um, what's this? I would love to do that at the breakdowns, but I've got no clue. So it's really easy to do a breakdown. Uh, let me just open mine up so I can show you. Um, yeah, this was made to be low poly. I'm pretty sure did. It's getting a low poly circular thing. If it was made to be low poly, then I think it's like, what is low poly? I think low poly generally is very stylized stuff because you can't afford the vert so you have to make it look good in silhouette with geometry generally flat colors or painterly with detail but not overkill whereas a low poly prop nowadays will still have enough information to stop it from look faceted and because you're use it you're shading it in a realistic fashion, your I think it will help you more if you have if your low poly is actually more high poly. Um, and again, once you've you've already done your high, once you've just done your put some more subdivisions in your low, you can rebake it and uh, get all the maps for free again um, and render it. Uh, what we're doing here, so I think it's in my setup folder. Uh, documents, projects, setup. Da, 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 da. Could be this one. No, that's not it. I need to find it. Hold on. Uh, submissions, art stations, cool, okay, so I've got it, uh, we'll do it on this one, so, so all you need to do, this is a, an old, this is a texture on my art station at the moment, um, so let's just get rid of them. Two dividers, four dividers. So the way I've done it is just with masks, splitting them. Um, and then I just drag and drop each of these masks onto the one that I want. So generally, um, probably this way isn't that good because you're giving emphasis to the two middle ones and not the side ones. So maybe have it vertically instead 
and then you've got four splits so someone can look at your diffuse your normal your height and your roughness and really get an idea for what you're trying to achieve but simple masks just put them all, all the maps in so in that's a two one so this one for example uh, let's turn all these off so that's a metal that's roughness that's normal that's diffuse and then I just do the maps on each of them so you get the split and it, it's that easy because um, you already have the maps you just need to um, get them into Photoshop and present them uh, cup take rates I should make that polish wood yes polish wood because it is so straight did you reference it yeah this was made to be low poly yeah yeah do a stream on reworking old pictures. Yeah, Ma Major Muffin, do a stream on reworking your old stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's my most recent one. Very rushed. I tried that. The high poly was too high. Just died on me. Gets ready to take notes. <laughs> um, I tried that. The high poly was too high. In that case you're putting too much unnecessary detail into it. So I would say on the axe, uh, which is further along, is this is this all in the high poly? Because you could just stamp it in Substance Painter. Um, hi, Neon Demon, nice to, nice to meet you, welcome. Uh, just doing a little bit of a crit at the end here. God, oh my God, it's that late, oh crap. Didn't mean to stream for four hours. So instead of using eight sides for the axe handle, I should make it 12, 16, which should be fine for the low poly. Yeah, 12, 16, or just whack it up to 24. Just You may as well. Um, for a portfolio piece, um, put in more detail than you need. Um, it's kind of counterintuitive. Um, I know, it sounds it. But because it's portfolio, you can put whatever you want in it. Um, and remember when you come to optimizing stuff, you can, you'll be taught that or you'll just put it into Simply Gone or something and it'll just work. Um, so while you can now, don't worry about making your lows actually, you know, so like substantial with just a few more uh, faces in it. Um, and Mr. Potato Man, and apply a smooth way. Yeah, exactly. So 16 with smooth will be fine. But 24, yeah, whatever. Uh, that's what he does, yeah. Uh, make sure you use support loops. Yes, good point. That's how you do it, yeah. But I put noise in it on ZBrush. Don't put noise in in ZBrush. That's where you're going wrong. Because actually now you say it, it's very bumpy across this surface which is strange that that bump doesn't go into these bits either. Um, and you can, you could probably, you'd get more information in the roughness in Substance Painter on a flat rather than on this bumpy, on the actual bump. Uh, that was stamped in paint in there, so no, no one tells us these things with cylinders. I start at 64 size. Make one here, then reduce to 32. Yeah, for a portfolio, you want to show the best, the people the best you can do. Usually. Usually. <laughs> but, uh, Major Muffin, it's, it's like, or Steve, it's, it's fine. Um, as in, it's not, I'm sorry, fine is the wrong word. Sorry, let me just write this down. Um, so, yeah, no one really teaches you uh, all these tips. Will this be on YouTube later? Um, unfortunately, it won't be. I think due to time um, and, you know, for me, work pressures as well, um, I will put the whole series on YouTube after the challenge is complete. Um, 
I haven't got a setup yet without investing, you know, a good half a day trying to make it like thinking of, of a pipeline and working it all out. I've got all the recordings, but I'm going to wait until the end. But I will let you know when they're on. Um, for anyone that wants to make weapons like swords, you should go watch Man at Arms on YouTube. See how they're made in real life. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, so um, I would, yeah, that's what I'd do. Uh, was there another image? Ooh, very nice. Oh, wow. That's sick. This is my first one of that. After my own concept, that some create. I'm in substance measure, but nothing to show yet. Fair enough. So there are dragons on there. I would. Okay, your concept doesn't have it. That's fine. You've got a rope. Looks good. Um, maybe the only thing I'd say would be it would be cool if you actually had some um, detail on the dragon sculpted in. But your concept doesn't have anything, so it's fair enough. Um, and yeah, you've matched it to the concept, which is great, but the one thing I'd probably change is maybe bring, fill these bits. Um, I think I've got epic pen. Epic pen? No, I haven't got it. Yeah, so it just looks like that. this is where all the, the weight is, but it feels like it might spin. You know, if you used it, it would spin around or what have you, if it became loose. And I think if you made it so the metal cylinder came down long further down here and you kind of filled these black bits to make it more of a substantial force, but then you would lose, I suppose, the, the dragon. But yeah, pretty good. Looking forward to the... Um, the substance. Um, if you also while we're here, um, if you're looking for critiques and what have you, then just whack them on. So I have got a Discord, but um, yeah, um, if you're looking for. If no one's giving you feedback in dinner seats, then just shove it in there and hope they'll get around to it. Or other people will as well. Uh, all the crits so far of dudes that know their stuff got barely any time. Um, I'm happy to help. Um, like everyone's been where you were. Brill. Um, yeah, if you've got stuff to... Basically, I'm away this weekend, so I'm not working on the competition. But if you want me to look at anything, just throw it in there and I'll have a look when um, over the weekend. Um, Thinner. 
Oh uh, yeah, my point, my other point that I forgot to answer in the end was, um, no one te when you said um, Steve that no one teaches you this. Yeah, there's everyone comes out of university now, not really knowing. It's like the people teaching it aren't really up to date. Um, in most places, I want to say in the UK as well. I can't really vouch for anywhere else. Um, so by doing like these competitions and such, um, you're going to, and hopefully by watching some of these streams, you'll learn a bit more about like the do's and don'ts, well, not even don'ts, but like that fasting thing. We're in with all the current gen. Your keyboarder is louder than your voice. My ears. <laughs> I'm sorry, Storm Eagle. Um, <laughs> is it okay for everyone else? <laughs> it's a soft one, I'm sure. Um, uh, yeah, just by being involved, you can pick up odds and sods. That was a, uh, because it's now PS4, Xbox One. Put more pies in. Um, have you played The Order 86? If you, I know it's short, but if you, there's a bit, I mean, I've, I've only, what, done two hours in it, I think, but I got to the weapons lab, um, but even if you go online and look at their wireframes, in fact, let's have a look, order 86, environment, Um, is that one? This is, this is the one. So, let's look at this. You can see that, um, so things like the planks of wood, they're literally just cubes, and the rest are like bevels so you get the nice edges but things like the barrels they've got enough geometry in them to support the actual shape same with the um, the wheels um, and then things like these I think they're sandbags or you know mortar or something but it's kind of like the silhouette is on top and at the sides but then the geometry within it doesn't need to be as dense as long as it maintains the shape of the high poly um, so yeah, and I mean you can just see in this archway, but there's enough geometry in it so that you see a nice smooth arch. Um, so be wary of that. Um, this is in game, so you you are allowed to up the poly count as long as it counts. Doing crap recently. That's pretty. Yeah, but what I mean is, is that you can get away with putting in more for cylinders, more um, thing, more edge loops in a cylinder, rather than having the facets exposed. Uh, it was from the order eighteen eighty six. On PS4, got a lot of bad crit. Um, wasn't received very well because I think people were expecting a full-blown game, uh, which it was. Don't get me wrong, but people were actually uh, wanted a longer story. Right now, I. Oops, I may as well do this while I'm here. Move these over.
Maybe something like that. Uh, no, rendering the hell out of it. Let's render the crap out of it, yeah. That's a lot of stuff in one hour. The size of the arms are a bit off, aren't they? That's a small car. The car is crushed. A lot of stuff, enough for 10 hours because there are 9 volumes on top of this and all the crap's fall into this one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a vertical city, so um, it goes a lot higher. Uh, which reminds me, I might put this pipe Good or bad, I thought about passing the art station charge, but because of how experience forms me, I thought I'd better learn all my own first and after I had the next one at least I can be sure that yeah, yeah, action, just do that. Um, yeah, do that because at the end of the day, you want to. Oh, what's happened here? What's this link to? Nothing. Ah, it's because the buildings moved. Right. That's why. Whew. better. Jesus, that could have ended real bad. Um, right, hold on. Um, so action, yes, get comfortable first and then do a challenge. Um, or I would do lots of smaller projects and then tie them all together in one big scene. And I say, I mean, it doesn't have to be a big scene, but I would say something like... Um, so, for example, say you've got, uh, you see so you've got that axe, so why don't you kind of aim to do like a, a blacksmith scene, so make an axe, make some tools, uh, make some, you know, leather aprons and a clothes peg, make some tables, and then put it all together in one scene, and then you've got all the learning experience from making individual props, and then the experience of making it in a small but decent environment um, so I'd do something like that and then Storm Evil, can you tell me how Tesla can be useful? I do three more and I see how tessellation can be useful use but it doesn't seem to be useful, what's the point of it? It depends on what you want to do um, so for 
uh, what do you call it, in film, when you just have to worry about rendering, you can um, put in a displacement map, you can up the tessellation, you can do what you want, because all you're doing is rendering it. But in a game, you want to use something like um, parallax occlusion, normal maps, that kind of thing, to fake the detail. Um, so if you've got, so yeah, with displacement, in fact, uh, I can't really show you because it will slow down the stream quite a lot, but if you have a, uh, a square, two triangles, and then you put a displacement on that, it's not going to displace very well because there's not enough geometry to help it displace. Whereas if you have a mesh which is subdivided, I don't know, five times, and then you put the same displacement map on it, it will displace a lot better because there's more geometry to help support what it's trying to achieve. Um, yeah, and then parallax map can, can is, is, yeah, that kind of thing. Think about Unreal 4 and landscape materials, for example, where you get more details with displacement and to get it working, you need geometry. Um, yeah, um, you don't need tons of geometry, but it depends how close you're getting to the um, to the ground. Nice carpet. Uh, right, guys, um, I'm gonna call it a night because I've now gone over four hours, which I shouldn't have really done. Um, so, as Major Muffin suggested, to recap, uh, what we've done is we've uh, matched the same kind of level of detail as the first building, but with the second, third, and this fourth building here. Um, I've... Uh, yeah, changed a few of the um, the proportions a bit to get things closer together. Um, I think it's working a lot better in terms of, um, I think this camera needs adjusting. Um, yeah, massively. The angle of view is far too um, strong. Um, but things like even just getting in this car, getting in the dumpster, getting in the pipes, just checking everything works together um, and sits in the right place has been really quite good this time. Um, so hopefully tomorrow I will work up this front area, this building here, probably with parts I already have, um, and I'll do the backdrop. Um, so just to show. I need to do this building here, this one here, and the backdrop and this, all this stuff up here. Um, and then we'll get it into Unreal and just check what it all looks like in there, get a camera set up. Um, and then I'll be in a really good place to pick this up on Monday when I've got the day off. Um, Last question, you will do all modular? No, it's not gonna be modular. Um, there's not enough time for me to make this modular. Um, and because it is only from one angle, I, I don't need to make it modular. I think in after the challenge, it might be good to do a modular kit from this because I could definitely use things like the pipes um, in the future. Um, but no, in terms of, well, things like the aircon units will be modular, dumpsters will be modular, and let's say like this window will be modular, but things like these pipes won't be modular, um, the walkways will be modular, so it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag. Um, generally though, um, aside from hero assets, I'm probably going to leave things as they are and just tile them, um, use tiling textures on them, because I can keep the 
like with this with these geometries even now you can see that they're quite smooth um, because they've got enough geometry in them and then with smooth normals I won't need to do an individual bake for each one um, for me I just need to get this into Unreal as fast as possible um, check the scale on it check the camera and then get some base materials on there and do uh, some lighting um, and then we'll just push into texture and just kind of work it up, work up the block out as much as possible. Already got the way nice scale. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, I think it will need some work when we're going to Unreal, but I've got, I've, I'm in a place where I've got a lot of the detail in. Um, oh, come on, resize. Um, so I've got this car in, I've got this bit in here, this stuff here, I've got these in now, the walkways, I've got all this building, and it's kind of laid out in, hopefully in real world scene, in real world space, so the space fits together. So if you're walking from the back, you have to kind of walk down here and then round the rubbish to get to here. Um, things like the piles of rubbish kind of being built up naturally where they would be. So people, there's dumps dumpster here, people are just throwing stuff in the corner. Um, this is kind of a walkway and you'd have less rubbish around these information points, network access points. So yeah, um, I'll be back tomorrow at the same time, eight. So no stream on Thursday, but yes, stream tomorrow. So if you're about, be great to have you in the chat again and just talk to you for over the three hours um, and discuss stuff. So yeah, thanks for coming by and I'll see you tomorrow.